If you've been following the stylized Guilty Gear shader series in Blender, I am now working with a new composition, new shading tree for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Not only that, but I figured out a, a way to bring the animations here into Blender. It's just fantastic. Here we go. Yep, that's it. Everything that you do regarding the animation, for example, Nermaya, has to be planned beforehand through through 2D animation. This is also explained throughout the Guilty Gear stylized series, and that's why we are now implementing a new method to bring those animations from the game, and also uh, the many different assets and aspects that you need to consider when you're creating these things inside Blender. So the purpose here is to visualize almost one-to-one -one here in Blender from the video game. So this is just a quick example. As you can see, there are bright colors. Uh, this is most uh, resembling the original Guilty Gear X art series because Guilty Gear Strive, as I mentioned on part four from the stylized series shader, is kind of different. But with Grand Blue Fantasy Versus shading, we're going to start with Narmaya. So Narmaya is going to be the first one of this new Grand Blue Fantasy series shading in Blender. Uh, starting off with Narmaya, then Zui, then Zeta, then UL. Okay, so don't miss it out. Now, all of this content is possible thanks to the support of these marvelous patrons. If you are considering probably subscribing or following me on Patreon, I will be greatly thankful to you because that makes this content possible. Hello and welcome to this 5 minute walkthrough video for the Naramaya shader. So what we have here is different textures that come directly from the game and how do we connect every single map, every single texture so that it will uh, perform in the real-time viewport here in Blender. Check that out. So all of this it's constructed with a layering mindset and I'm going to quickly walk you through this in case that you are already experienced with arming shaders and uh, so that you know where to connect what exactly. I'm going to be describing this in just five minutes but I uh, recommend that you watch the longer version so that you know exactly what I did and why I chose the preferences I created between the connections. So first things first, so the SSS map should look something like this, okay? Except that in the channels, you should see an alpha channel and therefore some of these parts should be transparent, okay? But this one does not have that. So what I did was that in the base, actually, the base texture, I added an alpha channel. And therefore, all of these parts were completely transparent in Blender, okay? But we're going to be exploring that later when I walk you through the connections. So what you want to do is to check all of your maps to be in place. This is the decal map. This is the detail map. Okay, this is uh, for the body. This goes in a different UV set. And last but not least, we have the ILM, like I mentioned before, which has stored different uh, information in the channels, in the red, green, and blue channels. Those are different things, so you can see them here. We explain all of this in our previous uh, Guilty Gear shading parts, but now we're going to explain them with a Grand Blue Fantasy Versus shading. So I'm going to select the Narmaya shader, as you can see right here, that's the name I used for this shader. And the texture color, or rather the base color, is this. However, when you connect it for the first time, you will not see this unless you connect you connect a transparent node which is floating just connected to the alpha and then you will get the right the correct interpretation for this otherwise you will get black areas transparent areas and you don't want that what you want is to have the base color and then the alpha of that connected to the transparent bsdf in case that you have what i've just shown you in photoshop the next thing is to have the sss or the shadow color multiplied against the light texture color okay and this is the result this result will be used in a light texture 
with the threshold against the SSS result. And what that means is that the shadow part will be this times this, but the light part will be just this. But we need a threshold, and this threshold is going to come from our usual method of creating the light threshold, as we've seen on the Guilty Gear series, but this time it's going to be driven by the vertex shadow colors. So if you open the properties of this model, you'll see that it has vertex colors. We want to connect that to uh, a separate RGB. And this specific channel here is going to filter the um, solidify, well, in this case, not solidify, but uh, the thickness of the out line or the contour for the character but we don't use that in blender so the next channel that we do use it's the blue channel right here and that is going to be driving the light threshold so if I click here you you'll see that we have red green and then blue so this is the the one that we're interested in this is the one that has the vertex shadows painted and we want to multiply that or rather guide the light threshold with that um, a specific uh, vertex color so you, as you can see right here the light is hitting the object and it is multiplied against those darker parts so that's why we get very clear very sharp um, shadows here um, also don't forget that it's it's a very triangulated object so everything is, has been modeled in regards of what kind of shape we want to get like for example here if we need a shape like this this is not going to be appearing normally when you work in 3d uh, modeling with what you need to create uh, this kind of shape using triangles so that you get this kind of occlusion natural occlusion through the vertex painting okay so we want to use that to drive the light threshold of course we set a limit like such and that is going to be um, right here that is going to be used with the light threshold result we're going to get from the contrast hair shadows in the ILM map if you remember we had the red the green and the blue channel in this case the, the contrast hair for the shadows come from the green channel and we can see it's got the um, it's got a, a color ramp so if we check it out right here then we can see that is being fed and that is why we can see her hair sometimes with this uh, small dents which are exactly small dents that we see right here okay this has been more than five minutes so I want to quickly walk you through the rest of these things um, the ILM by itself uh, it's divided into the red which is going to be the glossy edges or the glossy intensity the hair shadows basically and then the highlight limit and all of these things are thought to be used within a principal shader on unreal in unreal engine okay but we don't use that we we can create our own shaders here as well um, and the alpha of the ILM will have internal lines as you can see right here this little node that I put here it's called a reroute and this is very important when you're assigning your shader to Nermaya you're gonna have two different UV maps and for the detail lines texture it's not the regular UV map that you always use but instead the second one which is called UV map 001 this depends uh, on which kind of model you brought in from grab blue fantasy versus in that case that is going to be feeding the the detail tga lines that we spoke earlier and i'm going to be transforming that because that that comes with a color you can see her face has color grading here plus all the black lines uh, we want to transform all of that into black and white so we can work with that grayscale and then we can finally multiply the internal lines from the ILM and the um, detailed lines that come from the texture like such so again the hair shadows have a ramp and once we get all of that information we're going to multiply it against the light threshold so we want a result 
from those previous hairlines like this, I'm sorry, for those hair shadows, against the light threshold that has been driven with the vertex shadow colors. Okay, if you don't understand this, don't worry. This is a quick version. There is a one hour version, one hour and 43 minutes, where I can walk you through this without any rushes. So the light threshold then is inverted and that is going to be fed as the factor here between the light texture and then the shadow result texture, which in turn gives us this. This is the basic thing. Now, if you multiply that against the um, internal lines at the end of the chain, all the way over here, then we can surely see that we are going to get um, the results within those detailed lines. But here's the important thing. All of the Grand Blue Fantasy Versus characters have the, the uh, base color with an alpha color, or rather with an alpha channel like this, because they want to filter the cloth and skin. So everything you see here is going to be masked out so that they can work in the cloth glossiness or the armor. So all of the characters, all of the characters have this characteristic. And this is how you filter or this is how you separate all of the glossy things that they have in the in the in in their clothes versus the skin or the hair. So let's continue. In the case of Narmaya, we only have this um, glossy property that I chose uh, deliberately to create, so I can add it as you can see right here. Connect the glossy layer shading into this cloth mask, which in results. Um, like this and once we get to the final stage we can see that Nermaya has this little glossy thing up here and also her face so that way when she's in the high resolution phase which is this one she looks almost the same as the one in the cinematics you can bring the animations for the body which are standards and then you can combine them in the NLA, which I explain in detail in the one hour and 43 minute video. All right, so that's that's it. I'm sorry this took uh, too long. If you can probably uh, check this out uh, in more detail, if you want to have more details about this, you can head on to my Patreon. And should you decide that you want to support my channel, I'll be really happy to to help you out with any questions you have about this. So again, this is for study only. Please use it for study only. If you visit my store at gumbro.com slash 3D Cine TV, you're going to see many other trainings that I've created in Blender, including the Guilty Gear series part. I really don't know how to fix this uh, order. Like, I wish I, the, the most recent products would be listed at top. Probably that's a feature I don't know, but anyways, if you scroll down, you're going to get the latest part and as well as this uh, long training for the Grand Blue Fantasy versus Shaders. You can also rank the training that you acquire by simply marking it here on the stars that you can see right there. So every everything that I have right here in this uh, Gumroad store. Um, it's created by me in the means of you learning step by step, which is the reason why this longer one hour plus video sometimes are uploaded here and not on YouTube. So dedicated people could acquire them in a single place where they have their, their own library. Because, um, this is how you probably would see. Now you can see all of your products that you have recently bought and, and reviewed which makes it a very cool place to look at because you have this library so whatever products you acquire it's it's amazing that you can have your content organized so when you get something and then you rank it you are also helping content creators like me and many other people who are really great in blender to rank in the listings for many other products that people may uh, be searching for so thank you very much for your support in that sense and thank you very much for your support if you decide you would 
like to support me either on Patreon or through this means. Thank you so much.